everyone, it's Melinda Love here with Boom and Biggs TV. As some of you already know, Biggs and I are online resellers, which means we buy items at thrift stores and clearance racks and resell them online on eBay and Poshmark. We currently have 1,100 items listed in our eBay store and stored in our home. Some of you have asked how I keep track of the inventory so if something sells, how do I find it when we have so many items? So I wanted to explain that to you guys today. I have a really simple system that works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. So this is my office and this is where we currently store most of the items. This is 25 bins of clothing. They're all labeled B1 through B25. As you can see, they're not currently in order. Sometimes I rotate bins to the top if they have more room, so I'm able to add more items. We also have the closet filled with pants, and there are also a couple of shelves over here, not as organized as they should be, but these are all labeled C1 through C24. On this other side of the closet, we have a lot of jackets hanging. And coming into our guest room, this closet is filled as well with items that are hanging, mostly jackets. So all 1,100 items were just shown to you in all of these different storage places. As you can see, the bins are blocking the window in my office and taking up space. So I will be moving these to our basement, which has so much more space. We hadn't done it yet because we would have to be running all the way down to the basement to get the items. And as you can see, this is my computer setup. This is where I print the labels. And up here is where my packing supplies is. And over here is my scale. But I do think it's probably my best option at this point so that I do have a more open working space and it's really not that big of a deal to go to the basement and get the items and come back up. Once I do move these bins out of here, I'm looking at this space on this wall as a potential area for backdrops for YouTube videos. I'm thinking to install some of those wall hanging holders for the backdrop rolls, maybe three of them that I can just pull down and roll back up because I will obviously still need to get to the closet space. So now that I've shown you my system for storing the items, I'd like to show you really quick how I indicate on the listing where the item will be stored so that I know where to find it when something sells. So taking this item, for example, this pair of capri pants, I already have all of the other details filled out and the picture is ready to go. If I scroll down further, there is a place right here to show additional options. And if I scroll down even further, here is the option to add a custom item specific. What I do here is type stock, and then I enter where I will be storing the item, and for this one, it will be C20. So again, everything else here is already filled out the way that I want it. So I'm gonna click list item. So here's what the item listing looks like, and when it sells, I will be able to see right here in the details stock C20. When it's time to find the item, I will go to C20 and find the pants easily right here. Then I will usually take them over to my scale and weigh them. And being that this is under one pound, these will ship first class. So I will get an appropriate mailer bag to ship these in and add that to the scale as well. So adding the mailer bag on top, this weighs 10.4 ounces, and I need to account for the label I will be printing on as well. So I will be 
calculating this label at 11 ounces. So I just go over to my computer in the eBay store, go to print labels, enter 11 ounces, and the label comes out on my printer and I stick it on the bag and mail it. It's very simple. Overall, I really love the setup I have. This is a really simple inventory system in my opinion. I know some people give each item an item number, but for me, this works. So basically, whenever there's a little bit of space in the top of a bin, I know I can add a few more items there. And if all the bins are full, it's obviously time to start a new bin. I really hope you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in some way. If you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.